Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Dark Desire Harvest. Today I'm bringing you a rogue statue of Marvel. And this one, let's see, this one now is much more, more, more rare than the Psylog. And jade statue that I got which are limited to 3,000 this one is limited only to a thousand worldwide only a thousand um, uh, the piece of paper it came with it even says that it's limited to a thousand robust 1,000 and and that it's what it means is a thousand um, right there uh, but before we cut it open with my knife which I've already got ready let's uh, read, the, read the back the young woman known only as Rogue joined the X-Men to learn to control the genetic attributes that are both her blessing and her curse. Namely, the power to absorb memories and talents of others through touch. Tragically, she still has not mastered this power and so is forced to keep those she loves most arm's length. Real name unrevealed. Occupation adventure. Group affliction X Men, formerly the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Base of Operation Mobile. First appearance Avengers Volume 1 Annual Issue 10. 1981 uh, height 5'8 weight 120 pounds eye color green hair color brown with a white streak powers rogue is a mutant who can absorb the memories and abilities of others through physical contact in battle with the original Miss Marvel and if y'all want to know who Miss Marvel is it's Captain Marvel of nowadays it's that's who Miss Marvel is it's ca is the so called Captain Marvel uh, Rogue Let's see, this works kind of split. is military is only the heroine's power. Well, what it's meaning is taking her power. That's what it's meaning. Uh, powers permanently acquiring invulnerability super strength and the ability to fly rogue's power mutated when she absorbed the attributes and memories of a telepathic alien now her abilities are far more uncontrollable with the talents of all those she has touched fighting to be released Weapons, none. Okay. Now, this thing, like I said, is limited to a thousand. A thousand statues worldwide. That's it. Um, before we cut it open, you know, before I open it, uh, here's the front. 
here's the side right here. And here's this side. And here is the back. Okay. Alright. And I'll say one more thing. Who sculpted this? Oh. Uh, I can't pronounce these names. Well, they are three people. The one that sculpted it also helped paint this. Uh, but there's another one that helped paint this. I can pronounce the first name, but I can't pronounce the last part of the name. Martin. I'll put it in the description, you know, below. Just like I did Silog and everything. I'll put it in the description below of the sculptors and stuff like that. But let's get on to getting it open. Okay. So leave it like that just in case I gotta use it again. Oh. Come on. Come on, gently, gently, gently. There we go. Okay, slowly. Take it out. It's got the weight to it of a statue. So, y'all seen it before me, the face. Um, now, I'm going to turn it around because it looks pretty good designed. Uh, it's designed just like Rogue. The outfit, I mean, they got everything with the outfit and, and the coat. I mean, the awesome design. The hair's, the hair's all the way down. I mean, they got it straight down the middle. They got the brown dark hair. Uh, 
they got the belt right. They got her muscle built right. Um, the only thing that's The only thing against this that I have, I don't got nothing else against it. The only thing they, they've about got this character to look exactly like the one in the early 1990s or the comic book, but definitely the early 90s uh, cartoon series um face it is the face that's the only thing i got the problem with it's it's fine the face is you know but i can't give it a 10 and i can't give it a nine the only reason i can't give it a nine is because everything else looks like the character except the face the face See, see for yourself. Some may say, uh, but uh, like I said, very hard. I, definitely ten. I cannot give a t ten hardly anything. But this almost makes it a nine. The face is the only thing. I mean, it's a beautiful sculpture. Uh, And all that. I mean, they got everything. It's just the face. Um, but, and let's see what number it is. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh man. Oh the number I got. I'm oh my gosh. Out of a thousand worldwide out of a thousand worldwide I got number one hundred and fifty two. They are only a thousand of the a thousand of these made, and I got number one fifty two. Oh my gosh! That is incredible. That is incredible. <sighs> but still it doesn't change the fact <laughs> that I've got to say about the face you know I, I, I still like the face uh, the rest is just uh, incredible um, but to give to what I would give this, uh, it's a eight inch tall statue. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Let me find out. Yeah, it's an eight inch tall statue. Because when I read about it, it said 8 inches. But, I do, well, I'll, I'll say this. If, if you can, if you can, if you can get this and find this. Uh, because, uh, like I said, like the silog, 
and the Jag Bear 3000 Limited. Uh, this one is 1000 Limited, meaning it's 2000 more uh, rare than these. Because uh, there's only a thousand of these. Um, and I was dang lucky enough to get 152. I mean, I was just 52 off from having a hundred. Uh, oh my gosh. That is incredible. Oh man. But back, back to it. Um, uh, you know, everything is great. It almost looks like the character, but I can't give it an, I can't, I can't give it an eye. But I can give it this without a shadow of a doubt with no regrets or no changing of mind. I, I will give it a solid eight because if it was not for the, if the face looked like her, if the face looked like her, this would be a nine. And a nine is an epic, but this is an outstanding statue. Uh, it is, uh, really, it's an outstanding statue. And if you can get your hands on one, if you can, I very truly highly recommend getting one because there are only a thousand of these uh, worldwide. That's one reason why I highly suggest if you collect like comic or manga, you know, character statues, or, you know, like, or even movie type statues. Uh, I highly recommend to get this one because of where it's so rare. I also highly recommend to get these as well. Uh, well, that's more than highly recommended the Psylogue. I can put that way above highly recommended, but I highly recommend every one of these, but this one, only a thousand, if you can find them, if you can find one to get. But none of these are for sale. I've already said about the silo. These right here are the jade, it's not, and this one ain't, they're, they're, they're not for sale. Um, Because a thousand worldwide, it would it's going it would be really hard to come back across, and to definitely get that number. Um, but like I said. This is an eight. It's an outstanding piece of artwork and the artists should be proud of what they did. And if they would have been able to make it look like the character actually completely, and the only thing that doesn't make it look like the character is the face. That's it. But it's a solid eight. It's an outstanding piece. Uh, I'm glad I got it now in my collection. And I will be bringing more statues later. 
later on in the future. No, no, no time soon. So this will be a this will be the last statue you'll be seeing for a while. I know it's not a lot, you know, but you will be seeing because I'm very picky. I'm very picky over this picking statues. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I really like, I really, really like this one. I, I like them <laughs> and stuff. And, uh, I'm very grateful that I got 152 out of a thousand. Um, That was just sheer bliss right there. Uh, but um, if you like this video, subscribe. Mash, smash that like button. Uh, and if you like any of my other videos, you know, subscribe and mash that like button as well. And this is Dark Desire Harvest, along with Psylog, Jade, and Rogue, and my trusty trident of Aquaman, saying, until next time, ladies and gentlemen.